We're here with Coach Finley at the Aggie Gym in Cameron where 30 years ago we set a national record coach. He shot 39 and 49 from the field which is 79.6% for, uh, for, for you math guys. And uh, But that was a night we couldn't miss in here. Yeah. It, uh, you know, we had 10 missed shots total I think from the field. We didn't have a three point line then so you can't really compare threes and twos but it was a great night. Everything was simple. It seemed like everything was so easy because the shots were falling. And that was your first year as a head coach, too. Yeah. I mean, and, and Coach Thompson left you a great squad that year. Yeah. We had a lot of seniors uh, that knew what was going on and how to play. And all I had to do was sit over there and enjoy it in the playoffs that year as we kind of just rolled that night here at Cameron. And that, one, that was a District 9 championship game back then. Only one team from Oklahoma made it out of Oklahoma right. to the to the, and that actually didn't even get us into the national tournament. But uh, we came right. in here and beat the number eight team in the country. I think it was 92-68, and it was over with in the yeah. first half. Yeah, we had a 20-point lead or so at halftime, and we were just feeling pretty good. And it continued in the second half. We were able to. A lot of times you'll cool off at halftime. We didn't cool off. We kept going. Uh, we took care of the ball, we made our shots, and everything was pretty easy. We only missed four shots in the second half. I'd say we probably even got better yeah, in the second half. Yeah, we got better, I guess, after halftime. I know, I remember the baseball players that were down here supporting us that night. Uh, I remember them commenting to the PA announcer. They kept announcing that if Cameron won in the first half, that if Cameron won, you could take your tip, ticket stubs to McDonald's and, get McDonald's and get a free Big Mac. And uh, after halftime, our baseball players were asking if we could still get one if we won. And so that was kind of fun to be able to throw it back at them and you know, try to get a free Big Mac. And this place hadn't changed a whole lot in 30 years. And you know, I mean, if you look at this video, you can tell it's not the world's greatest shooting gym. It's kind of dark in here. Um, we it just found some dark. magic. It hasn't changed much. The scoreboards are different maybe, but the seating looks the same. The brick walls are the same. and and it is fairly dark in here so i'm not sure i kind of thought there were windows on the sides that maybe made it lighter but at nighttime it wouldn't matter so uh, but it does appear pretty dark in here today and, and you wonder how good that is for shooters and i'm sure that still probably ranks in, very high in your list of all-time memories here at I'm oc sure. yeah you know that whole first year was uh ranks as all time and uh nowhere to go from, from there but up, but uh, it would be hard to go up because we had such a great year that year, and um, I, I enjoyed that whole year, and this game just topped it all off. And like you said, that didn't determine that we got to go to Nationals. We had to go win one more game up in Kansas to go to Nationals that year, but we did that, and we're able to go in my first year, and uh, you really just can't top that. And say, I mean, 39 and 49 still boggles the mind. And you know you had that box score framed in your office. Yeah, Stan framed that for me a few years ago. We found it, pulled it out from somewhere, and he framed it for me. And uh, so that'll be a keepsake that I'll always enjoy. That was a good, a good first team that Coach Dobson left me with. He knew what he was doing when he stepped down when he did. He left me with very little work to do because the players did all the work. Well, that's a great memory. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.